Uh, hey, what's up, y'all? It's uh, Cat Pajamas, also known as El Gato Loco. Um, man, I don't know what to eat. Joe Bob Briggs is about to start, and um, I always like to eat, and this barf. Just, it tastes like shit, really. It's disgusting. Uh, um, pavement possum, dog, windshield rabbit, asphalt armadillo. It's all the same. Wait a minute. I know what I'll do. I'll have something I haven't had in a real long time. Chico Tacos. That's right, because I'm from Chico Town, El Paso, and I haven't made it in forever. Follow me y'all, we're gonna make Chico Tacos today here with El Gato Loco, also known as uh, Cat Pajamas, Cat PJs, or just Cats for short. So yeah, follow me. the dishes um once you're done with whatever it is you're doing it'll make it a lot faster uh yeah and uh um get rid of the pulses, you know make sure not to touch your eyes and oh shit oh man i cut those jalapenos dude oh dude i went to the restroom and i okay we'll be right back guys <laughs> sorry guys always remember to wash your hands before you go pee Oh man, that was gnarly. Next, we're gonna prepare the meat. We're gonna get some salt. We're gonna get some organic cumin. Oh shit! Oh well. And toenail clippings. That's right. It's their secret ingredient. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just put uh, a little bit of that. And now we're just gonna put it in, uh, wrap it in the tortilla uh, using my abuelita comal. And uh, yeah, that's the next step. So, come on. Hey, can you give me a little hand, please? 
Wow, ha ha ha. No, seriously, give, give me a hand. Give me a hand. Alright, thanks. 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 Fix that deal. Let's get into some music. It's gonna take me forever to roll these flautitas. Uh, fix that deal from Chico Town. Shout out Fix that deal. I used to be in a punk and ska band. These homies, they gave me my first uh, first gig. I uh, was Fix that deal. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna continue to roll these flautas, and um, we'll have them ready in a minute. So let's get into some music. Fix that deal, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chico Town. We got the tomatoes, the eyeballs, we got the jalapenos, we got the onion, we got it all in there. So now we're gonna need some of this from here. I'm gonna reach into this cabinet and uh, gonna get some uh, some alligator blood. Uh, we don't need that. More alligator blood. Alligator blood. Uh, people in Chico Town, I wanna tell you about that blood. So you got the whole can. Sometimes you can get the whole can in there, or you can take out the can too. Some people like to open the can and then pour it in there. I say, screw it, just throw the whole can in there. The one thing about alligator blood in the chicos, in, in El Paso, they used to have alligators in San Jacinto, in the downtown area in the 1800s. Real alligators. Why? I don't know. It makes no sense. But uh, neither does anything around here. So, yeah. So, look it up. El Paso has a rich history with alligators um, in downtown. And they still have statues. So, go figure. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we're back. So uh, let's get um, we're gonna get this secret sauce, secret chico taco sauce. You know that uh, chico tacos? Uh, there's this place in Austin. Well, uh, I'm probably making this whole story up, so don't hold me accountable for that. But they, they tried making uh, chico tacos, right? Because someone really loved it. And uh, but um, they called it chico tacos because El Paso is known to be called chico tacos. And uh, so anywho, they did it. It was a fancy version of it um, because the, the original one in El Paso was all paper plates and stuff. And uh, anywho, he got uh, in trouble for it. We're having that name. The guys from Trico Stapos, you know, wanted to have um, a fight about it. So he ended up changing the name. He's like, all right, I won't call it Trico Stapos. And he changed it to Screaming Goat. I don't know if he did that on purpose as like a big middle finger to him, but probably. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna add some salt to this. Uh, Cause this Chicano's a little salt. But uh, it's a little salt, but uh, anywho. Um, yeah, and there's another conspiracy that supposedly, how much salt did you put in there? You didn't even measure it. Hell no, fool, we don't measure shit, you know? Like, Mexicans don't be measuring nothing, man. Like, uh, you just put it till you're ready. But anywho, going off. There's a conspiracy that perhaps Chico Stapos is a drug front. They, they only accept cash. They have ATMs. Who owns the ATM? They're open till three in the morning. It's that one spot where everybody goes to after they're done partying, where they're all, you know, after the club, after the show, after whatever, after the concert. And you'll be seeing people, like, in front of the Chico Stapos, right? It was the funnest thing. Like, I love going to a show, and then after the show, they'd be there, and you start seeing that. And then we'd all play his bets that they're going to fall into the soup or not. And sometimes, man, they fall face plant into the soup. Hilarious. But, um, anywho, so I got oil cooking also. Um, and, um... We're gonna throw these flautas that I rolled up into that, uh, fry them up, and we'll be almost ready. So, uh, yeah, we'll just get into some more music real quick, and then we'll get back to this or whatever. Y'all, so I turned it to bar for uh, Liquid Death. I got my Chico Stoppers. Joe Bob Briggs is about to start, so uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, El Gato Loco. Uh, much love, much respect. Arrato, Gato. Meow.